Hey guys, welcome to another food review. Um, as I was walking in here, the first thing I noticed was the Wi-Fi. Um, not many businesses do that anymore, but I do really appreciate the ones that do and spend the extra money for you guys to have uh, a better time while you're enjoying the food. Uh, and not many times uh, that I get to go back into the kitchen and to film this stuff for you guys. So I want to thank Irvin for that. He opened up two hours early for us to do this for this video shoot. Um, so he headed back to the kitchen now. Uh, if you're hungry, please pause the video now and go get you something to eat. And you can view it while you eat because you're probably going to be mad with all this good food. Yeah, I'm panning on all the ingredients that they had for the um, hot dogs. We got the chili right here. We have the pot of cheese. Um, I was sitting there stirring that as we was talking while he was doing all the uh, preparing for the hot dogs. So he, he tossed the hot dogs in the grill um, and he let those uh, grill up just a little bit on the flat grill. Uh, then he rolled the hot dogs off. Uh, he did that for a while. And um, you could tell he's really passionate about his hot dogs because we was talking about Bar S hot dogs while I was. He's never heard of Bar S, so he doesn't go cheap on his products. Um, he gets the grill marks on them from the, from the other grill here. And then um, we, when he took them off, um, he was putting them in the pan. He went slow for me just to get a nice, sexy, yes, sexy shot of those beautiful dogs. Um, and after that, he actually uh, put the bacon wrapped dogs in there and the other, uh, the sausage and the other plain hot dogs. Uh, and then the one beside it, he put the actual just veggie dog um, in his own basket. Um, he sets the timer. I just did that for the heck of it. But he sets the timer. Um, he cooks them for two minutes um, on uh, in the grease. And then, oh yes, butter. That's God sweat right there. He both the grill and the bun, and then he tossed them on the grill to get the uh, nice, nice char on the bread. Um, that was really really meditational to me right there hearing that hearing that butter pop and looking oh look at this he said one was a little burnt it, it was okay i told my mom i told him about my grandmother saying it's, it's less less calories he burnt the calories off uh he he's cutting the first two i think he's starting with the uh ch the chicken terry the chicken not terry the chicken uh, jerk chicken uh, so he's doing the jamaican jerk chicken and I think he's doing the street Polish. He's starting off with those two. All I wanted to do is show you the beginnings of how he's, he does the hot dog. I'm not going to show you every single hot dog that he's doing today. I think he's doing like 23 to 24 hot dogs. I'm just showing you how he's doing the grill marks and how he goes about prepping uh, the hot dogs. Okay, now here goes the onions, and yes, more God love right here. God sweat. He's putting the uh, jerk sauce on that one, and then he's going to prepare the um, hot dog for us. Here you go. Hey folks, uh, welcome to another uh, food review slash mukbang. This is Irvin. Um, he is with the hot dog, the original hot dog factory and spice wing. Uh, so uh, let these fine folks know um, what a uh, little about your place and we're going to get into all these hot dogs. All right. Well, first of all, we were located at uh, 4265 Hacks Cross Road in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, we have over uh, 20 uh, different variety of hot dogs here. We also have uh, a nice selection of uh, wings also. But uh, today we're uh, cascading. Uh, for my man Brandon here, all these delicious hot dogs that we have. Get you guys to come on in and get some of these. Yes, yeah, so we're going to showcase all these dogs. He's going to tell you all the ingredients while we're eating. So it's going to be kind of like a mukbang. Um, and I'll show you a picture, a close-up, why he's uh, telling you about all the ingredients. He just added four more hot dogs. He'll get to those a little bit later, but they added four more to the menu. So instead of 20 and some sides, we went ahead with 24 and he threw in an extra one just for good measure. If I was still hungry, there's an extra one here. Uh, but I do want to thank Casey Carter for helping out sponsoring this video. Um, and I do want to thank Irvin here for opening up two hours early on a freaking Sunday. So he, yes, he woke up early than usual then uh, to come up and do this. So I do want to appreciate for that. 
Uh, so I want to thank you, uh, Casey, uh, your son, uh, Ethan Mozingo. Uh, he had actually done some food challenges, uh, started at 13, uh, did his first food challenge at 13, and uh, has done like five so far. So uh, thank you very much uh, for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. Without you or Irvin, this wouldn't be possible. Because I'm so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but speaking of cheap, this we did a review here. Um, I didn't meet you that day. I met your wife, but we liked it so much, and the price was good that we definitely have to come back. Appreciate um, it. Where should we start at? It doesn't matter to me. Uh, where would you like to go? Ooh, ooh. Well, whatever, wherever you feel. Like. Okay. Well, let me get this camera a little closer. I just showed this uh, so you guys can get an array of everything, but I'll put the camera a little closer. Okay, we are back. Um, got the camera closer for us so we can uh, you can get an, uh, a better uh, look at this. So where do you want to go? Ooh, start right in front of you there. Okay, yeah. Texas Rodeo Dog uh, is that one. So yes. let's let's go with this one, and you can discuss why you did it or what's all on it. All right, the Texas Rodeo Dog is our one of our bacon wrapped dogs. It has uh, onion rings and barbecue sauce on it. It's one of our uh, favorites. We uh, sell a lot of those. Oh yeah. It's called a Texas, right? Cause you got meat, like extra meat on there too? Yeah, it's, got, it's just a bacon wrap. The bacon the wrap bacon. and the onion rings kind of give it that extra, okay. extra kick with the barbecue sauce. Mm. <laughs> I go back to that, but I like to, I like to taste that barbecue sauce too. Ooh. <laughs> took a big chunk out of that. It was good. Okay, and we'll just come down here to the BLT dog. Yeah, the BL BLT is one of our Ooh. new dogs that we've uh, added to the menu uh, just recently. And what's all on here? And that's, a, also, that's also one of our uh, bacon wrap dogs with uh, lettuce, tomato, and mayo. Okay. Mmm. Refreshing. <laughs> One more. Yeah, you're oh, gonna, yeah. Yeah, you're going to get pretty messy with all of these. That's what she said. <laughs> okay. Now, which Where are we going now? All right. Here we're going to go to the uh, California Baby Dog. Okay. And that's another one of that's our... This one here, that's the yes. extra dog. The other one's the extra dog. So what's all on here? Uh, the California baby dog has guacamole, grilled onions, uh, tomatoes, and the try me sauce. Oh, well. What is try me? Try me sauce is basically try me and see if you like it. Mm. I tried it. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> it's famous, yeah. Mm. The try me sauce. We, get a lot, we got a lot of people that want the try me sauce on the side. Uh, with a lot of our dogs. Mm. Do not eat that one in the car. <laughs> oh, pretty messy. Toppings are messy because there's a lot on there. Okay, the extra one I'm gonna leave there for now. Okay. You go with that bad boy in front of you? Yes, sir. This it's is a our... family show, but why is the Atlanta dog the biggest dog? Man, I don't know. That's the, <laughs> hey, that's what we do. Is they got the ATL as the foot long dog. This is our ATL XL foot long dog, and that has onions, has relish, mustard, and ketchup. Oh, but also, beautiful. you can get these dogs uh, made how you want. Also, so I mean, we've uh, bacon wrapped uh, foot long dogs before. We've made uh, foot long Caribbean jerk. Uh, ingredients on the dog so you can get the dogs uh, pretty much uh, made to order how you want them. Wow so the one I like the best so far of the the, the, the last food review not of these so far but of the uh, last food was a Jamaican Jamaican jerk chicken you just said I can get that in this yes so what's the prices kind of on average on all these so uh, the average price uh, just say for a regular all-american dog is uh uh, the dog by itself is uh, like like uh, five eighty nine, and then the combo, you know, it's a couple dollars more. Okay, combo. You get the drink and the like onion rings or fries. Onion, or? Ring, onion rings and fries and the drink. Mm -hmm. Okay.
hard. I, that, that relish makes this the sweet of it is man it's delicious i didn't want to eat that much of it but i did it's it's, it's almost yeah. it's not it's not even a uh a, a foot long anymore it's not i was gonna say yeah <laughs> uh, what foot long that's what she said okay i'm gonna stop all right maybe okay we're gonna, we're gonna go over here the dog up top there you have that's our la dog that's another one of our bacon wrapped dogs that has um, cheese sauce. It also has uh, grilled onions and French fries. Why the French fries? I have to ask. Uh, L.A. dog. L.A. dog. You know, so L.A. your surfboards. Oh, two surfboards. okay. So yeah, you can you know you can say that the you know that the uh, fries are the surfboards. Okay, they're surfing on this flavor. Yes. Okay. Surf, surfing <laughs> on top of the dog. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, and that chili. I was looking at back there, and I remember the chili from the Coney dog I did last time yes. too. Oh, good. Yes, yes, we do have a good chili there. Yeah. Mm. A lot of people do come in and get the chili in on the side, get the uh, our factory slaw on the side also. Oh, and that marriage of chili and cheese, delicious. Yes. Okay, what do we have right here? All right, down there, that's our famous Memphis dog, and that's another bacon wrap dog with cheese, green onions and barbecue sauce. Okay. And we sell a lot of those. Of course, we're in Memphis, so yeah, mm -hmm. we, we do sell a lot of Memphis dogs. What makes it Memphis? The barbecue sauce, Bar of course. Okay. And what kind of bar, like the people at home, what kind of barbecue sauce does Memphis have? Like, it's different from everybody else. Uh, um, everybody kind of got their own, you know, barbecue sauce flavors, you know, it's, it's kind of a array. I don't know what makes the Memphis barbecue sauce, uh, what people like about it. Some like it sweet, some like it tangy, some like it spicy. I've, I've, I've had three, like three different kinds here. That's what I was asking because three different kinds were where I go places and there's some that's tangy yeah. and there's some that's spicy and uh, it's not like pinpointed. Like if you go to St. Louis, I think it's more vinegary, mm -hmm. um, but it's uh, a more sweet when you go to St. Louis. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, well, that, that is good, really good. All right. You get the crunch of that bacon on all on, on them hot dogs wrapped in bacon. Love, love blanket. Okay. We're gonna go right there up top, and that's gonna be our famous Detroit Coney dog. And if you know anything about Detroit, we love our Coney dogs. De Detroit is the home of the the Coney dog, the chili cheese and onions. And we are in Memphis, and you're saying we love our Detroit. So the people that did comment on last time, this is their second favorite, Detroit. They said that's sure, not Coney. Detroit, or that is. Well, this gentleman is from Detroit. Yeah. So, nah. Born and raised. <laughs> <laughs> so he knows about his hot dogs, okay? That's right. Mm. Delicious. And what makes it a Detroit for you? Like, what other ingredients that they might say it's not Detroit because something? It's well, they, they usually say, I guess the Detroit dogs have a snap to it. So it's the it's the dog itself in Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Of course, the, the, the chili uh, that they use in Detroit, but it's the actual snap of the dog that says, someone says, oh, yeah, it, it tastes like the Coney dog, but it don't, it don't have that snap, but it's still good. But okay. they, yeah, they, so they do love the Detroit Coney dog. That's delicious, that chili here, guys. If you come here, do you sell bowls of chili? We, you can get the chili on the side. Okay. Yes, you can get the chili on the side. Okay. Well, oh, what is this in front of me here? That's that's the, going to be the all American dog. All so that, American. that's just your basic dog with uh, uh, ketchup, mustard, relish, and onions. So it's kind of like the Atlanta. Yes. Okay. Pretty much. I keep going to that relish. That relish is on here. It's really delicious Good too. Relish, yeah. Okay. Okay. What's next? All righty. Are you ready to go to Chicago? I'm ready to take a trip. Take a trip to Chicago. I saw the Chicago uh, picture over there. You got St. Louis and all the pictures. Yeah. Go ahead. You go ahead. I, all right. Yeah, we're gonna get swamped. Okay. So nope. I'm 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 gonna shoot off right quick. And okay. Well, we'll take a quick break. 
Um, and I'll sit here and uh, snack on the ones I've already ate a little bit, and then we'll get right back. All right. Appreciate Sound good that. to you? Yes, sir. All right. Be back in two and two. Thanks. We'll do it in two and two. Be right back. Okay, we are back. They got a big rush, um, and if you ate here, you'll know why they got a big rush. Uh, he didn't even get a break. He just jumped on here. So I know you're hungry. I mean, if you are, yeah, there is yeah. an extra one here. I'll eat later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, well, let's move on to the next one. Which one is next? All right, so right here we have uh, our Chicago dog and our street Polish. Okay, this is Chicago dog? Yes. And why is this a Chicago dog? So the infamous poppy seed bun, we have the uh, celery salt on there. We have also the mustard, the green relish, the onions, and the tomatoes. Okay, let's dig in. Mm. Oh yes, I like the poppy seed right here too. Mm. Oh, the peppers do it too. <laughs> okay, that was really good. I know you got you got uh, you got to hurry up on your next rush, probably. So we're going to go ahead and dig into this one then. All right, the next one's going to be the street polish. Street polish? Yes. Okay, what's all on here? Well, there we just have the sports peppers with the grilled onions, and also that comes on the poppy seed bun. Okay, poppy seed as well. Yes. Hmm. That's another Memphis favorite dog right there also. It's good. It's like, it's not plain, but it's like just low key kind of, but it, the flavor is not low key. Mm -hmm. It's good. These peppers, I like these peppers. Yeah, the sports peppers is real good on that, on that sausage. Mm. I like sports peppers because it's not hot, hot. It's just, a, it gives that spice. A little yeah, bit it's of spice. just a mild pepper. Okay, let's move it on down the line. All right. When you want this so, one? Yep, yeah, right there in front of you, you have the New Yorker. Okay, that's the... Up, up top. The yep, your New Yorker kraut. has your sauerkraut with your spicy mustard. That's pretty much it for the New Yorker. Mm. They like their kraut up there, so... Yes. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's a good dog. What kind of spicy mustard? It's just like a... It's a brown... Brown, brown spice? No, okay. uh-huh. Oh, whoops. Okay, and this one. <laughs> All right, now that's our Philly dog there. Now that's, that has our cheese sauce with the grilled uh, onions and green peppers. Okay, looks really good. Mm. I like that cheese that you got too. Cheese. A lot of people have the, the melted cheese, it's not good, mm -hmm. but this is good. Good cheese sauce. Mm. I grilled the, grilled the onions and the peppers oh, on that flat flat grill back there. Yes. That's the Sorry, best, I'm that's, talking about mouthful. That's, mouthful, that's the best tasting thing when you can uh, throw those those little uh, sides on that grill and uh, all that, saute them. All and, that flavors in together. there. Oh yeah. Okay, where and let's go to this one. All right, so so there we have up top there we have our uh, Italian dog which we just added to the menu, and that's a good uh, Italian sausage there that we do have. Uh, from our food service there. Okay, so it's different from all the regular hot dogs. You got the Italian sausage, yes. and then we're gonna do the jerk chicken later, and then you got the, the, hot, the hot dogs and the bacon wrap. Yeah, okay. And Italian sausage also comes with the uh, grilled onions and green peppers also. Mm. That's, a, that's a good sausage. That is a good sausage. Oh, wow. Yes. I'm not gonna say that what she <laughs> said. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say that. Mm. Mm. Oh, guys. Ooh -wee. Yeah, they're mad if they're not, they're not here. <laughs> you got them in Atlanta too right now, or did you move from Atlanta here? No, I moved from Detroit here, but the, uh, the original hot dog factory started in, in Atlanta. Atlanta. Okay. In Atlanta. Yes. Okay. So you moved from Detroit here and then opened up three months ago? Yes. Okay. So when you're watching this, about three and a half months, just about two weeks back. Okay. Now, what is this one here? So that's basically our all-American dog, but it's just a jumbo dog. It's called our Martha's Vineyard Jumbo Dog. 
And it's just the basic uh, relish with the uh, ketchup and mustard. I'm gonna have to ask him because you probably want to still, you know, people steal your recipes. But that that relish though, I have to have from my refrigerator. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a bag of it before I go. I only had one bite of that because it's the same as the All American. It's just a different, the, the bigger dog. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's move down there. This the veggie. Yes, that's our San Francisco veggie dog. That's, that's our vegan option that we have on our menu. And that one has also a spicy brown mustard with the onions, uh, lettuce, and tomato with the uh, Beyond Meat veggie dog. So it's kind of like a Californian, but with vegan. Yes. Okay. Vegan Cali. Vegan, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. Try to get the texture of that hot dog. It's you still got a kind of texture there of a hot dog. Yeah. We sell a lot of vegan dogs. We actually we be running out. Uh, surprised that uh, you know a lot of people do come in and uh, want that vegan option. It's not bad at all. I mean, I wouldn't go vegan, you know, but I don't have nothing against vegans. Of course not. What but you if, eat, right? Yeah, but if you're a vegan <laughs> and you you come here. That is a really good option. I mean, you get a texture of a hot dog. Yeah. I always, I always say vegans really want <laughs> meat because they want hot dog. They want fake bacon. Fake, you're right. <laughs> I say fake bacon. <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> All right, down here on this end. Oh yeah. We got some I already know what that one is. Yeah. Yeah, that was my favorite of the other ones. Yep. Okay, what's this first one here? It looks like a nacho, like a taco. Yep. So that's our taco dog there. That has jalapenos, tortilla chips. Guacamole, lettuce, and tomato, and jalapenos. Oh, right. He said tortilla. Tortilla. Uh, your, your word. He, he, I, I, I had to point that out because he probably doesn't yeah. say that. He said it for me. He screwed me on yeah. tortilla. <laughs> and quesadilla. And, and quesadilla. Uh. Mm. Oh. A lot of good flavor in there. Festive. Festive. Fe I was yeah. trying to dance. That's like it. Chichi you said it. Festive. Yeah. I need a hat. <laughs> and a chicken on a leash. Oh, one more, one more. Mm. Oh, that's good. I might be my number two, because I already know what number one is. All right, now we have our Jamaican jerk chicken sausage. And that has uh, jerk sauce, has our Sweet Island heat sauce with uh, grilled onions and Pineapple. Yes, and people know I don't like pineapple on my pizza, but pineapple on this, oh, it was a marriage. It uh, no. compliments it. And it has a good kick to it, too, with the, Jama the Jamaican jerk. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's a party right there. <laughs> okay, one more. Okay. There we go. Right. And let's go with one down here. A Boston dog and a breakfast dog. Yep. So our, our Boston dog, that there has our um, our uh, factory beans on it. it has the um, bacon bits, the raw onions. And that's a good combo also. We sell a lot of Boston dogs. I'll pack this down a little bit because this <laughs> is a lot. Think, oh yeah. Think we're gonna get any flack from Boston? No, I don't, well, cause you're not from Boston. Right. <laughs> a true Boston dog is from Boston. <laughs> yeah, haters. Uh, <laughs> but if you're in Boston, you come here, you let them know. Cause that, that is good, I like it. Mm -hmm. It's not a fake, it's, like a, it's not a fake canned bean type taste either. Right. The beans are good. Yeah, we have a, we have a recipe for the beans that we use. He's trying to tell me he's not going to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, breakfast. Breakfast dog. Basically, that's our bacon, eggs, and shredded cheese. Okay. Okay. It's different. Different. It's different, different. Because when you're eating this, you're thinking hot dog, but mm -hmm. when you eat it, it's breakfast. 
Like, am I eating breakfast? So it's a brunch. How about that? It's a brunch already. <laughs> I like that. But maybe a sausage in the future be a sausage. So also all of our dogs, you can uh, sub the meats for a sausage also. So any, any dog we have, you can sub it for a turkey dog. You can uh, sub it with the sausage. I had someone the other day come in and they ordered a, a foot long dog, the ATL foot long. Uh, took all those toppings off of it and they wanted it made like a Jamaican jerk. Okay. Uh, sausage. So, so you call it Italian a, jerk. Yeah, <laughs> Italian jerk. Okay, That's a so, good one. Yeah, so hey, let me get. So, but but when you order it, say, hey, I want that foot long on whatever, or do you say, I want the Italian? But Yeah, we, we kind of get some of everything. Some, some people say, I want everything that comes on it and then they add the meat or cheese to it. Okay. Or they don't want anything that comes on the regular dog, and then they'll just make it. Say they they may make it uh, a foot long, a California baby foot long. Okay. So I'm up. You have your options to make it. Uh, you know, get it made the way you want. I watch a little bit of Food Network and stuff like that, but when they go to hot dog places, they always say, "Hey, I want all the way." If they come here to say that to you, what what do they mean? And or do they you have something like that? Like I want it all the way. Does that mean everything, or yeah? Well, you got so many toppings yeah, here. I wouldn't it's, imagine it's, it's so many. Yeah, it's only okay. so much you can get on that dog before it explodes. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's what she Maybe said. That, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what I said. Oh my God, she better not have said that. Okay, let's move on. Let's skip this. Yeah. All right. Here we're going to our fiery. Let's do that last. Okay, we're gonna do that one last. Yes. Okay, we going up top there. So this is another one of our uh, famous sellers here and this is our surf and turf surf and turf yes we sell a lot of surf and turf the guy came in the gas guy he's yeah. uh, he's the guy, i heard him i overheard mm -hmm. him because he wanted that surf and turf yes surf so, and turf that has the lettuce and tomato with the dog and it has the crab meat on top and then it has the infamous try me sauce I had to pause it so they could see the crab. <laughs> I had to pause a little longer because that's a lot of freaking crab on there. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's still fight for number two now. Uh-oh. Oh, it's fight for number two. Uh-oh. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, we sell a lot of that. If we can keep the crab meat uh, in stock. But uh, yeah, oh, surf, and, surf and Turf is most definitely one of our uh, top sellers. Okay. I'm still saving this fire for last. I okay. don't want to mess up nothing. So we got to go down to that end. Okay. We got the Carolina Slaw Dog and Hawaiian Dog. Yep. Did you try the Hawaiian Dog the first time you guys came? I think we did Hawaiian. And guess what? My well, girlfriend and I'm in the same boat that coleslaw sucks at a lot of places. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of, uh, it's hard to, but we would order that by itself. Yeah, our factory slaw is, is, yes. is uh, special. Yes, it's this good. is, yeah, that's a good word for it. Because <laughs> I wouldn't go to some place and say, hey, let me, get, let me get a pint of that coleslaw. Yeah. That's like at a family reunion, that's usually what's left that you're trying to give it, away. Is the coleslaw. <laughs> this right here wouldn't last at a family reunion. Yeah. So, what's all on this again? So that, that right there, the Carolina Slaw, is basically our um, all-beef hot dog with the chili and coleslaw. Okay. It's pretty simple. Simple, but not taste simple. Uh, that coleslaw, we mentioned that in that video too. Yeah. That, hey, we would order that by itself. That's very rare I say that on coleslaw. I don't think I've ever said that. Ding. No. Oh. <laughs> mm. Okay. What's this one here? Right, More this, pineapple? Yes, this is our Hawaiian dog here, and this is at this has bacon bits with pineapple and the barbecue sauce. It's a luau on a bun. <laughs> if you like a sweet hot dog, sweet. This is one for you. You got the barbecue sauce and the pineapple. Yeah, and usually when I make a Hawaiian dog for myself, that was one of my favorites when I uh, first uh, tried the hot dog factory out in Atlanta. 
um, I had the uh, sweet heat sauce uh, on it, and man, it just gives it that little spice and just take it to another level with the sweet. Well, speaking of spice, we got the last one to go spice, and we're going to talk about the spice wing as well as soon as we get done with this. Yes. So what is this on here? So this is our fire dog here, okay? So the fire dog basically has our sweet heat Arizona uh, sauce with the sport peppers and the jalapenos. Okay. There's some red sauce on there. Yeah, that's that's the Arizona There's heat. A, oh, Arizona heat sauce. Yes. Okay. Oh. It shot at me. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, guy. You say it, not me. Mm -hmm. It's not overly hot, but it's there. It's knocking on your door. <laughs> you can tell it's there. One more. Okay. I'm gonna tell you my last favorite, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's the last one, because I don't like hot, but I do a jalapeno contest, 140 jalapenos in like 11 minutes. Mm. Like we did a contest, and I came in second. And that's why anything with jalapenos on it, to me, I don't like. But if you like jalapenos <laughs> and spice, that's for you. But that's why I didn't like it, because of jalapenos. It wasn't because of the taste of the hot dog. My favorite, I think that chicken, that jerk chicken. Jamaican jerk chicken. The second, second was a battle. I really can't, I mean, there's gonna be two or three as a second, so I don't even know if I want to go into that. <laughs> Might make the other hot dogs uh, mad because there's a lot of, a lot of good ones here. So I do wanna, I wanna, do wanna thank you, but before we go, I wanna talk about the wings. We're gonna do a wing review here sometime. Uh, but they have, uh, it's it's the, it's the original Hot Dog Factory and, and Spice, Spice Wing. Wing yes. So two companies merged into one? Yes. Okay, so Spice Wings, what, do you have, how many wings kinds do you have? You have a lot of different wings? So, so wings, um, so we, we, we do a, a medium, we do party wings. And um, we have, we have like kicking bourbon, uh, good, which is an awesome spice. We have, we have a Chesi, which is a lemon, lemon pepper, a hot and Cajun uh, mixed together. And that's one of the uh, franchise's uh, flavors or whatever. And um, that's popular, real popular. Uh, we have the actual uh, Ghost Spice also. I heard um, that's a new one. Yeah, so yep, so we- Tasha and I are gonna try it. She's not gonna ooh, like it. Ooh, yeah. So she's, yep. gonna, she's gonna be really a, a person that doesn't really take spice, so it could be me and an earthling. Like, she's an earthling. Yeah, she's an earthling. So yeah, so she, she, she'll really tell you <laughs> if you, if, if you like spice, you know, of her level. Right. But, uh, so yeah, the wings come from, I mean, even our plain wings are, are good. Uh, we get a lot of people come in just order our wings plain, the, the way we season them. Um, but yeah, you can get anything from a plain seasoned wing all the way up to a ghost spice. Because the, the hot dogs are really good and they open up as hot dogs, but they said more people, more and more people have been trying their wings and coming in to get wings as well with the yes. hot dogs. You can order what? 10, 10 wings to 100 wings? Yeah, you, actually, you can get a uh, six piece all the way up like, to a, a hundred piece box. We have can you be like Chris Rock and get one wing? No, not, <laughs> not one wing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that one yeah. 10 cents, can you put in my hand? <laughs> Sorry. I, and I'll probably put that clip in too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh, but they got a hundred wings up there. I see it. And it's uh, so parties. You yeah, can have so a party yeah, here. We, yeah, we do. We do the. Uh, the six piece, uh, the 10, the 15, 20, and then we have a, a 30 piece big box, 50 piece, 75, 100, 100 piece big box. Do a thousand if you want them. <laughs> give them a little yeah. heads up. Yeah, give them some heads up. <laughs> Maybe we'll a week. Yeah. But, uh, but I do thank you very much, um, yeah, Irvin. Yeah, I really, really, you, really thank you. And then I want to thank Casey, uh, Casey Carter, for allowing me to do this as well. And you opening up two hours early, phenomenal. No uh, so I, I do thank you. And we will definitely be back here. Uh, I'll bring Tasha next time. She's probably jealous. She has to. Work. She has a real job. She has. She has to work today. So uh, with that said, um, um, is there anything you like to add or?
Uh, I just want to say, hey, come out and see us or whatever. I appreciate appreciate Brandon coming out and you know uh, doing this review on the food and everything, and you know filling yourself up or whatever. Uh, yeah. As you can see, we have a lot of uh, different variety, a lot of choices or whatever. Uh, come on out and enjoy. 4265 Hacks Cross Road, Memphis, Tennessee. All right, thank you very much. And there'll be a banner up here in a second. So uh, he said he's gonna put a banner up. So we're gonna do that. And uh, uh, I really do appreciate him for going above and beyond to do that. That really, That's really nice. Thanks. So, all right guys, well, thank you very much. Um, until next time. A dog factory spice wing. All right, GoPro stop recording. Okay, here's my top picks. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. If you're in the area, please check them out. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.DougGarbageDisposalStore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out, and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here, um, and you'll get a weekly newsletter. So, uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you, so I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss, and have a great day. Let's meet other plans.